Hey, 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 hello there, Cosmic Bunny here, your favorite bunny, huh? And welcome in. Today we're gonna look at uh, Forbidden West, Horizon Forbidden West announcement and trailer for the PC. Look over the PC features and yeah, I'm gonna comment on the trailer, what I think. And I am excited. I hope you are excited too. I am also a streamer on Twitch and mediocre streamer. I deliver you mediocre content. Also same for YouTube. So I hope you will enjoy this. If yes, then click the like button, subscribe of course, and leave your feedback in the comments. So let's go. Okay, so let's see what this trailer is about. Ooh, graphics look amazing. Holy crap. Look at that. Look at those graphics. I mean, yeah, sure. You can expect that the second game will look better than the first one. But holy crap, this looks good. This could be like one of the best looking games out there. Well, at least what I can gather from the trailer from the first seconds, it looks really stunning. And do you see volumetric clouds out there? Ooh, that is nice. That is nice. Yeah, so I guess you will need quite powerful hardware to run this on ultra settings. But yeah, it, at least it looks like uh, the hardware requirements could be, you know, justified. So that is amazing. Okay, let's go further. Complete Something wrong. edition. Of course wow, not. it looks so good. Oh, and Nixus. Nixus does the port. Nice. Also, Sony is like... Uh, well, it's a bit ironic, but Sony is one of the best, if not the best, PC publishers right now. Their ports, their games are so good on PC. They have so many PC-specific features. Also, most of the games are pretty well optimized. They look good. Well, The Last of Us had some issues at the start, but then later on they fixed the game, kind of. It runs okay now. Then the first Horizon it had some issues at launch, like average performance, but that was also improved. So Sony always tries to, you know, take care of those uh, big games they release but then there are other games like god of war it was such an amazing port since day one then we have ratchet and clank which is which is pretty damn good and then what else was there oh yeah uncharted uncharted for me personally it ran perfectly well so yeah looking good so far Ooh, flying. Okay, okay, okay. So flying, we have a flying, uh, whatever that is, flying mount, creature, robotic creature, cyber creature, cyber dragon or something. Yeah, that looks nice. But will it be fun to fly? Like travel from point A to point B? I guess for first like 10 times, it will be a blast to fly over that uh, beautiful scenery, right? Especially if you can fly through those volumetric clouds, that would be amazing. But I wonder if it will be worth doing that instead of using fast travel. Like for example, I remember playing Red Dead Redemption 2 and I've spent over 100 hours in a uh, single player. And I barely used fast travel in that game. I used it maybe several times because traveling on the horse, it was so, so much fun because all those events kept happening on your way. Some of them were sad. Some of them were funny as hell. You had some laugh. And that was the reason why I just didn't want to use any fast travel in that game. And with this one, I mean, I don't know. It seems, uh, it seems fun, but it could become kind of boring and push you to use fast travel anyway. But still, a very nice addition to the game, flying mount. It's new, it's fresh. And with these graphics, I think I will want to fly at least for like 10 times or so. 
Ooh, ultra wide support. Ultra wide support. That is important. Even though ultra wide community is pretty small, but I love that Sony cares about us, about us who want to play the games and cinematic aspect ratio because it's so pleasant to the eyes. If you haven't tried it, and you would try it, you would know what I mean. It transforms the game into that nice cinematic view and ultra-wide support. In Sony ports, usually it's pretty good. Only Uncharted, I think, didn't have full ultra-wide support. Like, again, God of War had full ultra-wide support, even in cutscenes. It looked so, so damn good. Then I think The Last of Us also has ultra-wide support. But first Horizon game, I think it didn't have ultra-wide support in cutscenes. I had to use a fix. So yeah, that's a very nice addition. Again, Sony doing PC things, PC-specific features. Nice one. Let's go further. Please. Okay, DLSS, free FSR, Intel, XCSS. This is how you do it, Bethesda. You add all of them. You add all of the features. Because logically, a company which releases the game should want more people to enjoy the game, right? And when those companies limit certain feature to certain hardware, they just lose sales. They lose uh, players. So always add all of them. And they'll assess and frame generation. If this one will have frame generation, it can transform the game greatly, especially if you have uh, something like mid-range hardware, something like RTX 4060 maybe. Instead of having something like 40 FPS, you can have 80 FPS and so on. So that is a, another PC specific feature, which is always nice to have. And I think these ones, they should be like a mandatory in every game, because why not? Especially when lately we have all those, you know, bad ports. Again, Starfield, what the hell? <laughs> okay, let's go further. Oh, it looks so Oh my god. Direct storage, wait. This will be second Sony game on PC with direct storage support, right? After Ratchet and Clank. I heard Ratchet and Clank had some issues, uh, but it was a good port, right? And it was the first, well, at least first uh, Sony game on PC which used uh, that technology. The Last of Us, actually, I think it was supposed to have it, but it didn't. And that what led uh, to those performance issues because CPU did all the job uh, which was supposed to be done by direct storage technology. So this is why it suffered so much. So that's exciting news. I did not expect this actually. So that means barely any loading screens. Yay! Again, looking at you, Starfield. What the hell? <laughs> the Let's rebels go. just got a lot more firepower. Ooh, this looks so good. Again, unlocked frame rate. That should be like a default feature in every PC game. Maybe except you know fighting games which are locked to 60 FPS because. It affects gameplay. If uh, different people play at different frame rates, it can affect the gameplay because uh, those moves and everything, they are locked to frames or whatever. Sorry, I'm not an expert on fighting games, but single player games, multiplayer games, especially like uh, shooters, always should have unlocked frame rate. There is no reason to release a game with locked frame rate. So, so again, Plus one to Sony. Nice one. Ooh, kaboom. Oh my god. It, it's like... It, what, dual sense? They even adding dual sense support? Well, I don't have PlayStation controller. I have this. And ironically, I'm gonna play this on Xbox controller. But yeah, that's 
that's like Sony giving you everything they can offer on PC, you know. It's very nice to to see that those who have PlayStation controllers, they can use them to full extent. That's awesome. That's an awesome feature. I have dug up a way to crush you. Like Oh, you know what looks a bit weird to me? You see that uh, like I don't know why the glow around the characters. I don't know. On one hand, it looks kind of nice. On the other hand, it looks kind of weird as if the characters are not there, you know, as if they are like uh, behind some green screen, <laughs> something like that. So I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It looks nice, but it looks kind of weird to me. So I don't know, but that's not a big deal. Look at look at everything. I mean, it looks amazing. It still looks uh, stunning. It could be one of the best looking games out there. I'm impressed. Oh, of course. Of course. Of course. We have tentacles at the end. March 21st. Nice. Steam and uh, that other store. Okay, so that was... That was super exciting and super nice to watch. And also tentacles at the end of the game. It wouldn't be a video game without tentacles, right? <laughs> so yeah, that was very exciting to watch. Uh, the game looks awesome so far. It seems that it will have new features. The combat could be even more diverse because I loved the combat in the first game. It was probably my favorite part. This is why I played it two times. One time on normal difficulty, another time on hardest difficulty. It was so much fun. The combat uh, was uh, basically what kept me playing. This so far looks very promising. Lots of PC specific features. Let's hope that the game will launch in a good state. Also, let's hope for decent optimization, which is a problem these days. Looking at you, Starfield, what the hell? <laughs> so yeah, guys, uh, my impressions right here on the plate. I love it. I'm excited. I'm waiting for this game on PC. And yeah, thank you, Sony, for finally uh, letting more people to play your awesome games. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was fun uh, commenting on this. This is my first, like, I don't even know how to call it, reaction on a game trailer. It was fun. Uh, also, if you heard someone snoring, that's the dog or furry, furry dog, a chamacher, snoring all night and basically all day. Uh, so yeah, that was fun. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button, subscribe, and also leave uh, your feedback in the comments. Tell me your opinion. Are you excited about this or not? Did you enjoy the first game? What other Sony exclusives, well, besides Bloodborne, because everyone wants that, uh, but what other Sony exclusives uh, do you want to see? I really hope for Ghost of Tsushima and Gran Turismo. Maybe this year, Sony, pretty please. The Last of Us 2 would uh, also be good. I would play that. Also Demon Souls, maybe, maybe. Sony, come on, come on, come on. So yeah, that was fun. And thank you so much uh, for watching. Check out the links in the description. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.